Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with a product reviews video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I'm super excited. I hope you're excited. I have a bunch here. I might not get to all of them in this video because there are so many in front of me. I have some empties. I have some that I have used enough to give you a good review on. I'm not really so into doing first impressions anymore. The longer I've been doing this, I just find that those really aren't accurate at all to how I end up liking the product. Sometimes, but not really, not good enough. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of Pixie items. This one is the Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argon Oil, and it looks like this. This is shaken up, it has the argon oil, so when it's not shaken up, you can see the oil separation. You can actually see it's starting to happen right now. Propolis, if you don't know, it comes from bees, it's a mixture. It's what happens when they mix their saliva with tree sap or something. It's like bee glue and it's supposed to be very hydrating for us. So if you're vegan, this wouldn't be for you. I know this about myself. I'm not a fan of oil sprays. I purchased this anyway. I really don't like oil sprays for my hair simply because when I spray them, I feel like I inhale the droplets or something and I kind of cough and have a little choking moment. So this does that to me as well. So with this, it's not so bad with an oil spray in my hair if you're spraying so much of it that I definitely feel just so suffocated. But with this one, I have to hold my breath for five to 10 seconds as I'm spraying it and afterward till it settles and then I'm okay. And if you've never used a Pixie spray bottle, one of their mists in general, the Milky Mist, the Hydrating Milky Mist is super popular and I have that, it is wonderful. And it doesn't choke me because there's no oil in that one. But anyway, if you've never used one, their spray is amazing. I hope you can see that and I hope that didn't get on my camera. It looks looks like it got on my camera. Oh well. Okay. So I just waited about five seconds and it's okay. I didn't wait quite long enough. Anyway, so I really, really like that. If you don't have a problem with that and spray oils, then this would be something you might want to try. It's very, very lovely. I mean, it's just a nice spray mist in general. It's lovely. Just don't choke on it. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. And I've probably used about a third of this bottle. I've been using it every night. There you go, you can see there. I've been using it every night for a few weeks now, maybe a month. I have been using it long enough to tell you that I do feel like this does help slough off the dull layer of skin on my face if I do it on a daily basis. I'm not feeling like it's revolutionized my skincare routine. I won't be dying to repurchase it when I run out, but I do like it. I do enjoy it and it has been great. I do think it's a good product. Next is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I, this is actually a first impression. This one is a first impression, and my first impression is that the smell is so bad that I can't use it. This was a gift from a really good friend of mine, so if you're watching, I'm sorry, it smells like plastic. It smells, which is what dimethicone basically is, but dimethicone is a synthetic polymer. It's basically liquid plastic that we put on our face that makes it slippery so that things stick to it and it feels soft, blah, blah, blah. The first ingredient is dimethicone, dimethicone cross polymer, so it's a synthetic polymer. This is all, it's a its a primer, right? It smells like plastic. It smells like liquid plastic. Like when you get something new and you bring it out of the box and you can just smell the plastic, that's what it smells like. So it's really hard to use. I used it as a primer today. I am wearing makeup today. I was playing this morning. I do feel like it is a good primer. I don't, I can't say anything bad as far as how it performs, but it just, it just smells so awful. So next I want to talk about the Tristique mini eye essentials. This was a really, really pleasant surprise. This is just the box. I have to get the pencils out, but I have seen these in FabFitFun sales, pretty much every sale since I became a member, and I never really thought much of them, but I use them. These are what I was wearing in my last video when I did the Tribe Beauty Box August 2020 unboxing. I'll link it down below. And they are surprisingly amazing. I think I just kind of glossed over them in every sale because it was like every day eye essentials it looked kind of boring but when you have some everyday eye essentials you're gonna use it the most right and somebody sent these to me a subscriber friend sent these to me I am so thankful thank you if you're watching so it comes with a little mini eye pencil a mini like cream color that's a little bit shimmery that you can use in your crease a brown color 
standard brown would look good on most skin tones and then this is the mini brow pencil so in this little set you have everything you need and you just swipe it on blend it out and you're good to go they are creamy the this one is shimmery the light colored one that you would put in your crease is shimmery the brown one is matte and then the brow pencil has kind of one of those brow tips to it and it goes on really well if you're into like creating brow hair strokes in your eyebrow it would be really good for that i need to work on my eyebrows i used to be really happy with them for a long time and in the last few videos i'm like what something's wrong not right so i am aware so i was pleasantly surprised and i think i will reach for these quite a bit so thank you so much for sending these to me this was great a great little surprise i am so happy with them so next is an empty. I've talked about this a couple of times and I did like a first impression and a midway impression. This is the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse. It's a shampoo and conditioner substitute. And I don't think that this was really for me in particular. So this is a no for me. It is really good for a color treated hair. It has color locking technology. It's infused with argan oil, fire tulip, lavender extract, aloe vera, and more. When you use it, it doesn't really smell like apple cider vinegar. It doesn't have a super fragranced smell. It doesn't have the greatest smell, but it's very, very subtle. Let me see, where are the ingredients, which I want to talk about the ingredients on this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's fragrance in here. It is very, very clarifying. I do think it works well functionally, but number one, it's not really for me. My hair is not colored. Thankfully, I am graying quite late. This is my natural hair color, so I didn't need it for that reason. And then another thing is if you're into ingredients, there is a formaldehyde releaser in here. So I am not so into using formaldehyde releasers. They're just not so great for us. So for that reason and the fact that it's not really a product that is for me, I wouldn't buy this again. I do think it is very clarifying. It is a very, very well-loved product. Product. If you're not really into ingredients and that doesn't bother you and your hair is colored, this might be for you. So it's funny, it has a formaldehyde releaser, but it says color safe, cruelty free, paraben free, fragrance free, sulfate free, gluten free. It brags about all these other things it's free of. Yeah, it is fragrance free, I was right. So that's my review on that. I wouldn't repurchase that. This is the Frank Body Glow Mask. Actually, I lied. This is a first impression. I was wrong. I am doing some first impressions, but I'm only doing first impressions where I'm sure. I'm sure that I really like this. I got this on a FabFitFun sale. It is really lovely. I was a little worried because the reviews, I think it's on Sephora, Sephora Alter. I think this one's on Sephora. The reviews talked about it smelling like cake or cupcakes or something. Lately, I'm not a fan of my beauty products smelling like food. That's just something that I've noticed. And it does a little, but it's super subtle. And so I didn't mind. It is a glow mask. You use it in the morning before, like as you're getting ready before you do your makeup and all of that. And you leave it on for five minutes. And I gotta say, when I washed it off, I felt like my skin looked glowy and I meant to double check if there was some sort of like a mica like a very small amount of mica or something it did look glowy it has licorice root extract which is known for brightening but I gotta say there's something in this that did make me feel a little more radiant I did enjoy using it I liked it it has excellent reviews on Sephora so if I were to be out of this and I wanted to pick it up again in a FabFitFun sale I'd probably get it I'd probably get it I don't know I'm a little bit saturated with products right now so maybe because of that I wouldn't but I would get it if I weren't saturated with products so the next thing I have a bunch of AG hair care stuff to talk about so I am going to talk about first I will talk about the keratin repair this is the refuel shampoo I also had the conditioner, which I used up a long, long time ago. I always use up the conditioner as much faster than the shampoos, unless I have a hair mask going as well. I didn't like it. I don't like the smell. This one smells a little bit like cake and more like cake. I don't like the smell. I like it as a shampoo. I like it as a shampoo. I just don't like the smell. So the conditioner also smelled the same way. The same goes for the Pearl Revive. This is only the shampoo bottle. I also had the conditioner. 
The same goes for this one. They smell very, very similar. Good shampoos. I just don't like the smell of them. They really, it really put me off. So if you're thinking about getting either of these, definitely check them out in person and give them a whiff. See if it's a smell that you can get on board with. And then one of these, darn it, I don't have the conditioner bottle, bottles anymore, but one of these had a smell that was actually more like a shampoo, like clean, maybe a little botanical, like nice to use in your hair. So I did enjoy using that conditioner. And I think it was the Curl Revive one. I can't be sure though. But otherwise, the other conditioner that went with the other one, whichever one it was, also smelled like cake. I don't have that container anymore, but I also used the hair mask, the Keratin Repair hair mask, also had the same smell. Good hair mask, same smell. Not a fan of the smell. I do have the conditioner bottle for the keratin repair one, so I can answer that question that I just posed. So this is the one that smells actually like a hair product, not like food. That smells good. I didn't mind this one. As a conditioner, it worked well. Because it was paired with a shampoo though that I didn't like the smell of, it didn't have a chance to shine in my book. I just really didn't like the smell of any of those. Next, I have the Sonage Vitamin Rich Cream, face cream. So I used this at night over the summer. This also has a little bit of a food smell, but it's very, very subtle. It smells a little bit like creamsicle and that was okay because it was really, really subtle. I did enjoy using this. I'm not aching to buy it again. It is a rich cream. Rich creams are better for dry skin, which I have dry skin. And if you see something that says like more like whipped or souffle, those are better for oilier skin. And I did think it was very, very moisturizing. I did feel like it left like kind of a little bit of a film but I don't really mind that so much it's okay as long as it's moisturizing this is good it was good I'm not raving about it though so if you see it in a FabFitFun sale or elsewhere there's probably something better for the similar price this was a nice surprise this is the Malin and Getz recovery treatment oil and I got this ages ago I think maybe a year ago in a cause box and I had never heard of Malin and Getz. It retails for something like 80 something dollars and I just kind of put it aside thinking maybe I would gift it but I wanted to pull out another face oil and I grabbed this one because it's the one I've had the longest and my favorite kind of scent is herbal and botanical. I love that kind of scent. It makes me feel like I walked into an expensive spa and I'm about to get an amazing massage and be nice and relaxed and happy. So it has that kind of a scent. It also is fast absorbing. It even said it on the packaging. Our fast absorbing treatment synthesizes a blend of nine antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I really like this. $80 if you have that kind of a budget, if that's you, good for you. And I would recommend it if you're okay with that kind of a price tag. If you see it elsewhere for a better price, then I would say pick this up. I like this a lot very much very very much i enjoy using it at night and smelling that smell and it helps me feel like i'm winding down this is the grown alchemist age repair lip treatment this has been available in fab fit fun sales in the last sale they had the tinted version i have the white version you can see this is practically empty i have a couple more weeks left I can probably get out of it. And I use this every night kind of as a lip mask. I put on some kind of lip moisturizer every night before I go to bed. Just, I've been doing that for a couple of years now and it makes a big difference in the way my lipstick wears, the way my lips feel and the way my lipstick wears. So I really recommend doing that if you don't do it. Also a lip scrub if you're not doing that either. This I think is wonderful. I have used a different one from Joy that I think is a little bit better. This one's very good also. Some people complain, I guess people that use it during the day, some people complain that it leaves a white cast. It is white as you can see. So the tinted one that was available in the last sale might be a little bit better if you wanna wear this during the day. Oh, and did you hear that? I love the packaging, it just, snaps you know it's on there if you throw it in your purse it's not gonna come off and get all gross yes i love that i am a sucker for good packaging i would pick this up again if if it were in a fat fit fun sale i was in need of this and i not for full price though i can't remember full price i'll flash it across the screen i think i paid like 11 dollars, which is still really expensive i i liked this i liked using it a lot this is an empty it is the ag hair care rose hip balm hair dry lotion this is another ag hair care item 
I just talked about some products like shampoos and conditioners from AG Hair Care that I wasn't into. I have used a variety of their hair products, their styling products, and I do tend to like their styling products. So this one was very nice. This is from their natural line, which I think they launched in like 2017. I'm not sure. It's fairly recent compared to the rest of their products. This is kind of like a styling cream. And if you have watched me before, you know that I always say styling creams are excellent for curly hair. Hair. So this worked very nicely in my hair. The first time I used it, it was amazing, amazing, amazing. My hair felt like there was nothing in it. It laid so beautifully. I, it was amazing. And I couldn't quite recreate that. It was still great every time I used it afterward, but I couldn't recreate that first time. I don't know what I did differently. If this showed up in another sale, I would get it if I needed it. Again, I'm really saturated with products right now, especially hair care. I'm a sucker for hair care, so I don't need it right now, but if I were just wanting to repurchase something that worked for me and I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff, I would get this again, absolutely. This is another AG hair care item. I got this in a Fat Fit Fun sale. I told you I'm a sucker for hair products. This is the Beach Balm Tousled Texture. It works great. Has a subtle smell. How would I describe it? Kind of clean, subtle, clean smell. Nothing really to speak of, nothing remarkable to speak of, but I, I do like this. Did I use this in my hair this time? I used it in my hair this time. I did. So this is day three hair also. So I did use it. I do like it. It works well. I wouldn't recommend this as my number one for a hair type like mine from AG Hair Care. I would recommend their recoil. I have it. I wasn't going to review this one, but I would recommend their recoil for curly hair. This is their curl activator. This is really, really amazing. One of the best curly hair products out there, I think. So this one works kind of similarly, I think, but not quite as great for curly hair. So I would go with the recoil if you want it for that reason. If maybe you have straighter wavy hair and you want to get that beach bomb look, like the kind of tousled look, this would be good for you. It's kind of like a styling cream and it looks like that. If I were to pump it out, it'd be like a white little clump. It feels like maybe it's 10% gel and 90% styling cream. It's good. Oh, this is heavenly. This is the Kalos Triple Threat Detox Mask with Raspberry Seed Rosehip and Cayenne. Looks like this. I picked this up in a FabFitFun sale because it had a ridiculous amount of amazing reviews online. A ridiculous amount. The brand is awesome. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, it's founded by a woman whose family immigrated from Pakistan. And some of the proceeds, proceeds go to helping with education, girls' education in Pakistan. I will put corrections along the bottom of the screen. I'll go double check that. But this is incredible. So I have hit the bottom of this. The only thing I don't like about it is that there's not more of it. It smells so good, so herbal. My husband said he picked up a little bit of clove in it. I'm not sure if there is clove in it. My skin feels so soft after I use it. I feel I feel like I stepped out of an expensive massage parlor when I use this. It is amazing. It's just amazing. I don't I can't say enough good things. It's clarifying, it's exfoliating, it has, I believe, both glycol and lactic acid in it. So if you are using other AHAs in your skincare routine and use this, you might skip the other AHAs on that night. I used this and then I skipped using the glycolic acid toner. When I use this mask, I do nothing else. I sit back and I just breathe deeply and I meditate a little bit. That's what this mask does to me. I don't think I've ever used a mask that's done that to me before. Highly recommend. If you have the budget to pay retail for this, do it. I think I paid $19 for it in a Fit Fun sale and it's because I felt so confident with the, I think, hundreds of amazing reviews. This is a Pacifica Hot Vegan Probiotic and Spice Rehab Mask, Healthy Stress and Clarify, and Black Pepper, Coconut, and Willow. This my husband found in a TJ Maxx on clearance for a dollar, so he picked it up for me because he knew I would like to try it. This is, it's a little bit like a runny, runny gel texture, kind of. There you can see that. It has a very mild scent, a little bit, you can smell the coconut a little bit and then it is 
it just kind of falls flat. It was worth a dollar so that I could try it. Whenever I use it, I for, kind of forget I'm wearing a mask. It's really, really subtle. It's very watery. Oh, the first ingredient's water, aqua. Aqua and aloe, so that makes sense. So it's, it's kind of like a meh. It's a meh mask. So I don't really recommend this unless you can find it for a dollar and you wanna just try it for that reason. But I'm not sure if I'm even gonna keep using it. We'll see. Okay, so I have talked about probably like 15 products, I think. So I am gonna stop there and I will bring you more product reviews in another video in the future. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I would love that. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.